We're back with tons of news right here, right now. Greetings Romis and welcome to romrom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to a regular news roundup. Welcome to the channel, thanks for stopping by, my name is Serta and I will be your host for this video. If you have any news for us, send us a mail to news at romrom.net. We're back, did you miss us? A week not thinking too much about sim racing, contrary to the other 51 weeks of the year. Race League is out on early access on Steam at last, expect our opinion about it next month as we're giving the developers some time to crush the box. Acetec got some standard non-hydraulic pedals out and while the press release bored us to no end with marketing highfalutin acronyms and more marketing bullshit than we thought would fit in such little text, we still read it to find out that they released normal spring action pedals. No wonder they had to bring their marketing game to near Codemaster's emptiness. Ah yeah, and Rennsport, or Rennsport as most are going to call it, published the so-called keynote from the so-called summit in a badly produced video this week. Lots of empty blah blah with not really much behind. We'll stop seeing it as vaporware as soon as it looks and feels more than a modded Assetto Corsa competizione. In fact, the video reminded me of 1000 similar venues of 1000 thousand companies that went bust in the dot-com bubble. Not a good sign. In a press conference with very low lighting and with a presenter dressed in black tones in front of a black banner which shows SRO needs somebody else preparing these press conferences, we got to learn some news about the future of SRO racing and the future of Assetto Corsa Competizione. Kuno's Marco Masaruto confirmed the 2023 season is going to be a part of Assetto Corsa Competizione in some way, he didn't give any details. Also, the GT2 cars of the SRO are going to find their virtual counterparts in Assetto Corsa Competizione. He hinted this pack would be the last DLC released for Assetto Corsa Competizione ever though. So, despite Assetto Corsa Competizione being the official SRO sim, it seems we'll never get SRO America, Asia or the newer SRO Australia, or the newest starting McLaren one make championship based on the McLaren GT4 but with more power and more aero. More's the pity. Race room seems to not understand this growing tension through raising expectations thing. They release a teaser about a new track, one day later they tell us it's Dunnington coming soon, the weekend after that they release it. They need somebody who understands marketing. They also deployed a small update last week updating the physics of the BMW M235i racing giving the tattoos a 4 further default gearbox settings on more track layouts, fixing many small-ish issues at Donington and optimizing the graphics for Ningo and Sejong. I clearly hope I didn't butcher the names of the tracks too horribly. The southernmost US state of Montana has many surprises for you, starting with a revelation that this is Montana and it's quite in the north. Gotcha. You can drive there and see the Glacier National Park, watch them before they melt and part of the Yellowstone National Park. But where's Yogi? And yes, you can deliver tons of stuff to it in American Truck Simulator now that the DLC is out since a couple of days. To celebrate the deployment of the DLC, there's a World of Trucks event going on where you have to visit all 12 cities present in the DLC to get special rewards. You'll have time until the end of September to do so. Most importantly, if you take an external contract or external market job to or from Calispe, you will get a mountain goat plush toy as a cabin accessory. I'm not into digital objects or plush toys, but somehow this plush mountain goat is calling out to me. Damn you, SCS! Keeping with American Truck Simulator, the Western Star 57X is part of the game as of right now. 
SCS worked closely with Western Star to be able to publish the truck almost simultaneously with the release of the real world truck. And the 1.45 version of the game got out of beta and into the mainstream of software. You should have seen and or gotten the update already through Steam. And last but not least, SCS is having a sale for the main games and DLCs of American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you missed it, maybe next time you should take a look into our Discord where we gave y'all the heads up as soon as we got the news. Porchimao was added to the game this week, which is strange as it's already part of F1 2021, so it's not like they had to do extensive work on it. China won't be coming to the game until the 12th of September. Again, strange, as it has been part of the F1 game since... Well, I'd have to look, that's how long it's been there. Last year it was understandable, with Porchimao and Jeddah being kind of last minute additions, but this year it sounds like a trick to get into the news. Or bad planning. And yes, we know that neither China nor Portugal are part of the calendar this year, thank you very much. In other news about F1 22, EA have started testing crossplay for PlayStation, Xbox and PC versions of the game. The first open test took place this weekend, the next test is planned for the 12th to 14th of August for social race and two player career modes. It will be used also for matchmaking. It's planned to be an optional feature, which you can turn off if you don't want it active. By the way, according to EA Q1 numbers, Q1 of their fiscal year, which is Q2 in our calendar year, F1 22 pre-sold more than expected and brought higher net earnings than expected. The overall numbers of sim racers, as well as most other numbers, have gone down this last month, which is no surprise. On this very hot summer, which may still very well be the coolest summer in the future of humanity, many of you could not bear the thought of sweating in front of your wheel or winger like yours truly on vacation. And the numbers haven't gone down catastrophically, just a bit as would be expected. Within these reduced numbers there are still a couple of things to comment. For one, BeamNG stays on number one, even if the numbers went down heavily, while Assetto Corsa saw its numbers declining. But don't fret, declining from a very high level to a high level. Assetto Corsa Competizione, on the other hand, got the lowest number since beginning of the year in what we think may be a steady decline. We wonder what will have more impact the new DLCs, check the news in this video, or the end of life of the sim, which seems to be near. If they don't do anything fast, the end of life for Ray's room might come all too soon, as once again we registered the worst racer numbers for it since we've started collecting them. And while the same cannot be said for our factor 2, the numbers are worrisome indeed. But as we said in the beginning, it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, where most sim racers are to be found. Let's watch the numbers through a nice cold beverage and keep cool about them. See what I did there? Help us create the content you love and become a patron. Let us spread our wings. Amongst other perks, it will fix your name for posterity like this, but you'll also get to know what we plan and what we're doing. So a big thank you to our patrons. If you come here regularly, please consider subscribing. The quarterly drop of our Factor 2 is near, as we are getting more and more information about new content expected to appear with it. If you follow our channel for a while, you'll know I'm a big fan of the classic Mini Cooper. Therefore, I'm ecstatic that it's going to find its place in our Factor 2. This classic car is not only tons of fun to drive and race in real life and in sims, remember it even participated in rallies and won some. 
It's also great as entry-level car as it's enormously stable and still powerful enough to ensure fun races. Studio 397 promised to deliver the modern GWC version cup car to R Factor 2 in a future drop too. And while that one is also a fun car to drive, my heart beats for the classic Mini Cooper, no doubt about it. I only fear they're going to make us pay motorsport games prices for a DLC that in all fairness should be a free drop because we can still our hunger for Mini and Automobilista 2's excellent versions or with Assetto Corsa mods anytime. And the last paid cars were okay but not worth the hiked up price. Continuing with cool cars, the Caterham Academy is also coming to R Factor 2 in this Q3 drop and we may expect other Caterham models to follow in the months ahead. Contrary to the Mini, it's not a beginner's car by any means as it needs a little bit more care in driving. It tends to oversteer which is no wonder as it has Lotus DNA. Let's call it an advanced beginner's car, let me know if you agree or disagree. Caterhams are in any case fun to drive and a great addition to the sim, and from the news release of Studio 397 it will come for free. You will find it in the workshop as soon as the Q3 drop arrives. Bit by bit, the BTCC cars are coming to R Factor 2, this time it's going to be the Hyundai or Hyundai, as I've been told it's pronounced in Korean and if not, please correct me in the comments, native speakers only. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the Hyundai i30 BTCC. This car has been part of the BTCC through the Excel rate team since 2020. From what we've heard, it's going to be added to the BTCC car pack 1, so if you already bought that one, it should come at no cost to you. But we've been wrong about these things in the past, so don't take our word for it. And moving from series to series and from cars to tracks, the Q3 drop will also see the addition of the Gateway Raceway, which is one of the tracks used by IndyCar. It has been laser scanned and it seems we'll get the oval version used by IndyCar with the indication, see what I did there, that the roval configuration will also be part of the drop. No word about it being a free or paid content, so we fear you'll have to pay for it. The Q3 content drop has been announced for August for quite a while, but no exact date has been given yet. We'll have to wait only 24 days to go until the end of the month. But much less waiting for our next video. In fact, it's just a click away if you check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup, and we'll see each other on the podium.